What's up, Gons here. Want to do this video because I started getting this question asked a lot. Um, and I realized I didn't quite make a video for this one in particular. So in a past video, I showed you guys how to import kits from Serato's catalog, but I would get questions as far as how do I actually get a folder? Like say I have a drum pack folder. How do I bring that into Serato? So that's what I'm going to show you guys today. So this is my folder here, Somatics Trav God Preview. And you have a couple ways. So you could go to Serato Library and drop the folder into here, which I did on a couple packs I've had in the past. And I'm going to open this here so you can see what's going on. So we have quite a bit of different files going on here. And then we have those here. Now, if I just straight drop this in to say this little open space, I'm going to move this library up a little bit. You can see what's going on. So say I bring this folder in at the bottom. You might get this. You might have certain MIDI or certain patterns that um, might not read. So you might get this prompt on here. So if you just bring in everything, it's going to look like this. And that might not be what you're going for. You're like, oh, I want to be able to like separate things out. So I can go specifically to certain sections. Again, this is your preview if you want to hear what's going on. So that might not be the way that you want to go about it. So let me delete this real quick. Get it out the way. So the way I've been doing it is I will take all these sections here. MIDI collection, this is a little bit different. I'm just going to try to get just main sounds that I'm looking for. So say we have this drum kit selection here, drum loop. I'm just going to, you know what, I'll just highlight them all. Screw it. So I'm going to grab this, drag these like that. Again, we're going to get that prompt on here. If you don't have MIDI or certain type of like uh, plugins within this folder, you, you probably won't get this uh, prompt that shows up. So from there, I'm going to go to the create or add create button, double click, and I'm going to call it what that was. Cymatics, Trap God, Kit. And then I'm just going to proceed to drag these into here, making them subgrades. Put that there, put that there. There's not a, a button yet to shift and click all of them at the same time. So you have to do this one by one. So in the future, um, probably they'll, they'll change that on there. And then if you're very particular or OCD, you could try to rearrange them again, which I'm starting to realize that I'm having my OCD kind of pop up on this. Put that there like this. And you'll see a little line that lets you know that you're moving it over and you're not putting it inside. So if it's highlighted like this, it's going to make another sub crate. So you click on it, move it back out, and then you're kind of back in business. So that's there. And then drum loop. There we go. So now you have everything within this pack separated out within here. I think the biggest misconce uh, misconception is once you bring this folder in, it's already separated out for you. And that's not the case. It's just going to group them all together. So now we have them all separated out. 808s, all of our drum kit, different loops, certain MIDI, effects, percussion. And again, you don't only have to do it in the Serato DJ library. You can put it in the audio samples and do it the same way. So that's what I did with um, certain folders. I made a uh, one that had like some more cinematic sounds and I just put them all in this little area to kind of organize things a bit better. You can do it with like drums. So I put a specific like rock kit and it had, and I had them all grouped together like this, but I had to do them one by one. That's essentially what you have to do to get it to work like that. Cause if not, everything's just going to get put into one area on there. So for this one, I, I have a good idea of what to do, but um, for someone that's just trying to get 
a new drum pack or a new drum kit and trying to get it organized in here, that's the method that you have to go. So bring each of these folders in, then click on the crate, name the crate what this is as far as your sample pack, and then drag those into there. And that should be it. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. And you guys have fun. This is Gons. Peace out, everybody.